This is the new T100. Okay. Probably seen it a lot on tour. It's the most played tour iron. You talked about how do you make something better. So how do we get a player that wants to play this but needs forgiveness? Gotcha. So we try to keep profile this way and then let Marnie put a lot of tech under the hood. Okay. Yeah, it looks very, very, very similar. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, our shaping, you know, we, we try to be pretty consistent yeah. with what we've learned from, you know, what better golfers prefer. You know, that sleek, streamlined shape, thinner top line. So you can see a little bit window-wise, you know, you get a player that is kind of the opposite of you that flights it a little bit lower. Yeah, this would fly nice for... Is again, we kind of talked about, it weighs the same as yours, it's where do we move that center yeah. of gravity. So we're taking weight from that top line and moving it into the cavity. Well, it makes sense because like most of my like buddies just play recreational golf. They all want to play like a blade. I think it's like an old thing. <laughs> they think that's what makes somebody good. But I always say, you know, you're not going to hit them high enough. And that's what most people struggle with is getting the ball to come up and out. And these look like they'd be a blade. They look like the cool, not clunky big head. Right. And they fly a little bit higher and a little bit easier. Yeah, it's a true forged construction, like your muscle back, right? So yeah. in the short irons, we're using forged carbon steel, which you're very familiar with in your MBs. But in the mid and long irons, we're using a different forged material called SUP-10. It's just like Japanese spring steel. It's higher strength. It allows us to carve out some material from the body. From saving that weight, we can then place that back into the super heavy, high density tungsten that allows you to increase the MOI, which is like, gives you stability and yeah. impact, you know, which everybody loves that. Yeah. That. I feel like that's what Tylus has always been the best at is that stability and impact. There's no reaction of your hands really, unless you like just thin it as bad as you can, can, but like toe and heel is always harder to feel, which is good because that means it's not reacting that much uh, when you do happen to miss hit it. I never miss hit though, so might be a bad example. That thing launches. Yeah, so that was kind of a good example of what we saw in the seven is the seven was about eight feet higher yeah. than yours. And the five were in that same, we're about six to eight feet higher. Yeah. So again, as he gets to the long irons, we're moving that CG down, we're getting a little bit of ball speed off the face. Yeah. So for you, our carry goes up a little bit. Yeah, that thing flew like a peach. Yeah, and we have a few of other players who play muscle backs who might have one of these as a long iron. Yeah. Right? Just because it is forgiving. Yeah, like JT plays it in a four. Okay. His first description, well, that you get to Augusta and you get that downhill lie you with want a blade four up. iron, you kind of want that thing yeah, as high yeah. as possible. Yeah. Nice. How about the feel of that club? It feels like one piece of metal. Um, so it feels like when you hit it, you're like, oh, like that thing's going, that thing's right. flying nice. You know, I hit it hard. Yeah. I'm a big top line guy. It looks exactly like my blade. I would say if someone would have handed it to me and I just put it down, I would have thought it was pretty much my Yeah, my and blade. coming from a blade player like yourself, we've done a good job then, right? Of creating a look in this super high-tech, high-performing uh, iron for tour that, you know, we've packed as much technology into that head as we can. 